Alright guys, welcome to a new video. So today we're checking out the Garmin Vivo Sport clock. So if you just swipe up, you can find the heart rate uh, screen. You see 72, that's my current heart rate. Um, 78, 77. Um, HP 7 days, uh, that means uh, in the past 7 days my average like resting heart rate has been at 55 uh, that includes when I sleep so it's not really that low um, but yeah if you click it you can see um, your heart rate from the last hour uh, highest and the lowest uh, you see a little graph there um, after that you can go out and uh, you'll find uh, some other settings if you hold the clock and swipe to the heart uh, display and click it you can uh, choose to turn it on off or just active um, I will keep it on here you can start to uh, monitor your heart rate even better um, you can just quit I don't really see the point of that here you can choose to get notifications on different uh, pulse rates like uh, minimum 100 max 200 so the clock will help you stay at those rates like if you're training or going for a walk running whatever so yeah the pulse is really great let's have a look at the app Alright, so here is the app on your cell phone, the Garmin Connect uh, app. Um, if you go to the pulse, you can see like the daily pulse uh, graph with the highest and the lowest. And you can also turn your mobile sideways to get a bigger graph. And you can slide your finger across to look at the um, exact numbers. So here we have like an activity that is saved on my cell phone and we see the pulse uh, like a graph throughout the um, activity. And lastly we have a 7 days, 4 week and 12 months um, big graph. I haven't uh, really used the clock so much so I only have 4 days. But here you have the lowest and the highest pulse. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time, bye.